Nikolai Rubinstein, who was Tchaikovsky's friend and mentor, for whom Tchaikovsky first played his piano concerto, famously yelled, worthless, clumsy, unplayable, badly written, beyond repair, bad, vulgar. Only if you change it to my demands will I agree to play it. Well, we thank Tchaikovsky's pride and his deafness to criticism for not changing a single note of this masterpiece. And we're lucky to have this concerto with us today. Rubinstein's words, although harsh, they were understandable. After all, he represented the German school of music composition, where concertos were serious music and not a place for emotional excesses. But Tchaikovsky, the Romantic, he has sailed past that notion a long time ago, and emotional excess was Tchaikovsky's middle name. Anyone will recognize this concerto from its opening notes. The first theme unequivocally establishes the piano as the absolute equal to the grand orchestra around it. And what follows is perhaps the battle royale between the two, where at the end, the winner is the music itself. <laughs> 